long run strategy and what I'm bringing in this episode. Here we go. Okay, <clears throat> so today is my long run. My name is Brian, documenting my learning and my thinking on this channel. In preparation for a marathon, you are going to have to tackle a long run. That's what I've learned. Um, you're going to have to have long runs more consistently built into your plan, but you're going to have to tackle one uh, in particular that is sort of your benchmark for are you ready or not, um, in, in, in my opinion. Today is that run. Today's run is supposed to be a three-hour run or what most people build up to uh, is what I'm learning in a 20 mile run. Um, so if you're new to running, like I am, you have to think about this run. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous um, <clears throat> and excited. I, I think those are the two, two of the same exact emotions, technically, uh, from a neurological standpoint. And so I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to find out what the result is, but I'm also gonna try to slow it down and really enjoy it. Now, my strategy is this. I am provisioned well. So I have on my flip belt, which if you don't know what the flip belt is, I can show it to you in this episode when I get back. Uh, I have three salted caramel, caramel, whichever word you prefer, um, goos that I will use every 40 to 45, maybe 50 minutes. So I brought three with me. I might only get through two of them. Um, I am going to use my mailbox as my aid station. So I will put uh, my water in the mailbox out there and I will come back to the mailbox probably once, but I will stay close enough where it could be twice. As far as the, the route that I'm going to take here in this run, generally mapped out as far as area location, um, running sort of east to start this run, and then I will head back west um, for most of this run and keep it sort of local to the point where I can get back to the aid station. Um, the other thing that I will bring along is uh, running buff, which right now the temperature is about 40 degrees. And then I also have my AirPods case, which in the event that my AirPods die, I could put them back into the case on the run and then put them back into my foot belt. So the biggest strategy going out here is to find a way to break your race into, for me, break my race, uh, break my long run into thirds. So mentally I'm prepared for three hours and I'm gonna break that down by hour. Uh, I'm not gonna try and push the pace in any way um, as far as time or speed but I am going to try to run at what I think could be um, my race pace um, for some of this run, uh, just to find out sort of where I stand. But the goal is to keep that heart rate in check, probably in that 140 to 145 range, and see where I go. I'm gonna get out there on this run. I'll see you there. Coming up on that first 45 minutes, probably looking at uh, almost 50 minutes here. I'm gonna stop at the aid station, grab a little bit of water, 30 seconds, and get back out there. Here we go. Well, approaching mile 11, maybe 12. My watch doesn't have any um, sensor buzz or indicator telling me what's happening. And since my AirPods are connected to my phone, I don't have any information on what mile I'm on. And I've been trying to not look at it. So that's a good thing. And uh, I gotta get some fuel here, probably in a few minutes, maybe like five or 10 minutes. Uh, I'll take a peek at my phone here, get a time, and check back in on that time. Here we go. I 
last hour here final third on the trail sun's peeking through feeling pretty good here we go so coming up on mile 16 which is my longest run to this point 16 miles twice i think and uh i'm gonna close out the rest of the four here for anybody that's doing this work either for the first time or the 40th time i applaud you it is so challenging mentally physically from a time standpoint and uh it is so worth it so if you're doing this work kudos to you Coming up on the last 20 minutes here, really trying to uh, power through with my heart a little bit here. But I'm also trying to smile. I'm trying anything right now. Um, smile because it's happening and uh, I'm gonna get that three hour mark. So I'm excited about that. What do you do when you are faced with uh, some adversity? Do you have any strategies, hacks, tips? Leave them in the comments. Well, I said I would document everything and uh, that is my longest run to date and I'm proud of that. It was, right now I'm feeling, I had to get picked up, so about a five minute ride back home. Um, and uh, I feel, my legs feel heavy and they feel, I, I'm, I know I'm speaking to the, to the choir here, um, preaching to the choir my legs feel heavy and they feel like there's just so much blood flow in there um, that it's just pulsating. Um, but otherwise, I don't. my calves are, are, are shot. I don't know how I would run tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I felt pretty good about that effort. And um, I think there is something different about hitting the wall at say, you know, mile 14 when you're doing like a 16 mile run and hitting the wall at like 18 when you're doing a 20 mile run. That felt very different. And I'm sure many people feel that way. And I'm sure the next six miles of this uh, journey would have been hard also. Having said that, the, the strategy, the run strategy that I had, which was breaking it into thirds by the hour, uh, really paid off. It was something to look forward to. It was something to kind of you know, grab onto 60 minutes worth of running and uh, and breaking it down into those chunks. The other thing that was interesting was there were a lot of people on the trail towards the end. Um, so I did speed up those miles and that would have been like mile 14, 15, 16, and maybe 17 there. It's like a four mile trail because uh, it was hard to weave in and out on what is basically a sidewalk. Um, so I was better off on the roads. And uh, yeah, so lesson learned there. And um, uh, yeah, I'll put the run details here. And as always, if you're finding value here, don't hesitate to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your strategies are, your hacks are for your long, long runs. Um, I need to learn a, a little bit more. And if you have some thoughts, uh, please let me know. Thanks for watching.